Hi guys, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me for today's video which is going to be all about eyebrows. So I'm going to be sharing with you a few of my thoughts and tips on brow preparation, so how I like to keep my eyebrows groomed and looking good just all year round basically. I'm also going to talk you through my everyday brow routine which is the kind of brows that I wear on a day to day basis with my everyday makeup look and then I thought I would also share with you a more bold brow look for those evenings or days when I just want to have a little bit more drama in my eyebrows. This week marks the start of Brow Week at the Boots Emporium, which is a new concept rolling across loads of boot stores all around the country. The Emporium is going to be launching across 30 flagship stores, but there'll be experiences and services across loads of other stores across the country as well. Just in case you didn't want to pop into a store or if there isn't one near you, there's also going to be loads on the Boots website online, such as how-tos, tutorials, tips, and lots of information on how you can get the latest looks. I'm actually going to be visiting a Boots Emporium next week, so keep a lookout for the vlog. But to give you some ideas of what you can expect in the Emporiums, there's basically personalisation stations, so you can get things like your makeup brushes and your makeup bags personalised. You can create your own beauty boxes, and there's just going to be loads of fun things going on in store. So definitely check out my vlog when that's up. And if you can get to one of the stores, then definitely try to check out the Boots Emporium. So you guys have followed me on a little bit of a brow journey. So since I started YouTube, you know that my brows have not typically been the kind of thing that I'm really that proud of, but I have got into a bit of a routine with my eyebrows, especially when it comes to everyday makeup. First of all, I'm going to talk about brow preparation. For me, the key to getting a good brow, whether that's for an everyday makeup look or a more bold, dramatic look, is good preparation. And it's not just brows, skincare, hair care, everything just seems to work so much better if you have prepared properly. So there are a couple of favourite products that I have here from Boots, which are really fantastic at preparing your brows. First of all is Aya's Dye Brow, and you probably recognise this from my Snapchat because I pretty much always Snapchat when I use this because I can't get enough of it. It's so simple to do at home home and it's definitely not something to be scared of. Personally, I don't really like the idea of dyeing my hair, as in my actual hair at home, but eyebrows is just so quick and easy and you save a fortune from doing it in the salons as well. So this kit you mix at home, you just mix the two solutions together, pop it on your eyebrows for a minute or so depending on how dark you want the colour to go, and then use a damp cotton cloth to just remove it. It's as simple as that. So if, like me, you have light coloured brow hair, then this is really great at picking up any extra hairs. I always used to think that my brows were really gappy and that I didn't really have any brow hairs in the middle section, but as soon as I started to dye my own eyebrows, I noticed that actually there were hairs there and they were just really fine. So it makes my brows a lot easier to shape and just a lot bigger and better when I use the dye brow kit. Once you've got a beautiful colour, the next thing to do is shape your brows. Personally, I like to do a mixture between waxing and threading. I don't really have a preference, but what I do know is that upkeep is really essential, which is why I've picked up one of these sets, and it's the Eyebrow Shaping Kit, and it's a Boots own brand, so it wasn't very expensive at all. Inside, you've got everything you need for shaping. Even if you do get your brows done professionally, it's always a good idea to have these essential tools just for those brow top ups. So inside, you've got some slanted brow shaping scissors, you've got two different types of tweezers, so you can be really precise at getting those hard to get hairs and also a spoolie for just combing through the brows and you've even got some stencils as well. So everything you need for creating the perfect brow shape all in one handy kit. This is just such a convenient thing to have in your drawer because you never know when a brow emergency may strike so a really handy thing to keep in your makeup collection. Okay so I've moved you in a little bit closer because next I'm going to talk you through my everyday brow routine. So as you probably know if you've watched a few of my tutorials in the past Past, my brows are usually the stage that I complete after finishing off my base. So already this morning I've applied a little bit of concealer to my blemishes. I seem to have a few at the moment. I think it's just this busy time of year. So first of all I applied some creamy concealer and then a really lovely light foundation for a beautiful glowy everyday look which you guys know I'm all about, that really fresh makeup look. 
Then I applied some lightening concealer underneath the eyes just to brighten and get rid of any of those pesky eye bags and then I've set the entire base using a loose powder and my trusty Real Techniques makeup brush, focusing on the under eye area and then any areas where my makeup tends to slide around such as on my chin, my t-zone and my forehead. For my everyday brow look I actually only need two products, the first of which is the Soap & Glory Arc de Triomphe Brow Pencil. I absolutely love this one because it's such a good multi Tasker. It means you don't need to carry so much in your makeup bag. It contains a coloured pencil at the top, which is great for filling in any areas where you may have less brow hair, any sparse areas, and it's also got a highlighting pencil underneath. I don't use this every single day, but I will use it today just to give you guys an idea of how it looks. It's a really beautiful, subtle sheen, which helps to lift the eyebrow and give a really beautiful, flattering look. I then add a little bit more volume and set my brows using the infamous Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm absolutely obsessed with this new packaging, it's so cute. And this is a product I've been using for many, many years. I even back comb my eyebrows with this when I want a little bit more drama. So my first tip would be to make sure that your brow pencil, whichever you're using, is really, really sharp. Personally, I like to replicate the look of actual brow hairs when I'm drawing in with my brow pencil, so a sharp pencil is key to achieving this look. Because I've already shaped my brows, I'm just going to be following the natural brow shape, not really going too far beyond the natural arch of the brows, I'm just keeping it really natural for today's everyday look. And I'm going to use really lovely feather soft light strokes to create a really beautiful soft brown shade. So I'm starting off here in the inner part of my eyebrow and because my brows are a little bit more gappy here I'm actually going to essentially draw in eyebrow hair using really soft movements with the pencil. Because it's nice and sharp they really do look almost hair like which is exactly the look I'm going for. So you can see this is the brow that I filled in the first part here compared to the natural brow. It's really just defined that brow shape and added in some volume and some brow where I really needed it the most. Now I'm going to continue using that really soft, almost flicking motion throughout the rest of my brows. If your brows aren't in such a defined shape, you could start by outlining the brows just really, really lightly. But personally, I'm just going to do this along the bottom, just slightly drawing in a very, very soft line where the brow actually finishes. You can see that helps to create just a tiny bit of definition without being too bold and then you can use this as a template just to work upwards into the brow hair. So you can see I'm just following the natural brow shape, not really going too far beyond the actual brow boundaries. <laughs> Okay, I'm really pleased with this brow shape and now I'm going to move on to the next eyebrow. As you guys know, brows are meant to be sisters and not twins, so don't spend ages worrying about getting them absolutely identical because that wouldn't really look natural anyway. So following the same technique, I'm going to do the second eyebrow. Next, I'm going to set my brows as well as adding a little bit of volume using the Benefit Gimme Brow. So starting in the middle, once again, I'm using the applicator, almost like a comb, to brush through the brows, flicking the brow hair upwards towards my hairline, and then working my way into the tail of the eyebrow. Repeating this on the other side, this helps to add just a little bit more colour and volume into the brows, as well as setting the hairs in place for the rest of the day. So that's the brows shaped and coloured and set, and to be honest, most days I leave it at this. My brows really don't take me too long at all, but I do credit that to good brow preparation. So this is my everyday brow look, but if I want to do something a little bit more snazzy, then I like to add a tiny bit of highlighter. As I mentioned earlier, my Arc de Triomphe pencil has a highlighter and the brow colouring pencil in one, so what I'm going to do is just really lightly draw underneath the arch of my brow to really elevate the tail of the eyebrow. This is a really lovely creamy pencil so you don't need to worry about it dragging on the sensitive skin either. And because this brow pencil doesn't contain any shimmer, it's just a really lovely light colour, it makes it perfect for an everyday brow look. So I've drawn in a little line using the pencil and now I'm just going to use my finger and patting motions to blend that in. 
So as you can see, it's just a very, very subtle, beautiful way of elevating the eyebrow and creating a more flattering shape on the face. I absolutely love this look, actually. I feel like I'm going to use this a lot more on an everyday basis and not just save it for special occasions because it really is very subtle and beautiful. Now it's time to complete the look. Because I've gone for a really beautiful, natural brow, I'm not going to go too bold on the eye makeup. So I'm taking the new Rimmel Magnifies palette and I'm going to use one of the softer, more natural matte shades just to sweep a single colour over the eyelid. I'm going to use this almost mushroomy light brown shade, just the one colour and I'm going to sweep this all over the lid. So this eyeshadow is almost your skin but better, it's a very beautiful natural colour so great for an everyday makeup look. Next I'm going to apply some mascara and I absolutely love brown mascara. As a blonde I find it a little bit softer and better for an everyday natural makeup look. So I was so thrilled to find out recently that Benefit have released my all time favourite mascara, Roller Lash in Brown. So I'm going to use this today for this makeup look. Because it's roller lash and it just creates the most beautiful curled lashes thanks to the innovative comb, I'm not even going to bother curling my lashes with eyelash curlers, I'm just going to go straight in with mascara. I like to wiggle the comb quite close to the base of my lashes because I'm not using eyeliner, this just helps to create a little bit more definition than if you were to flick it on the ends alone. So there we have it, a really beautiful, natural eye look. The eyeshadow and mascara really doesn't overpower the eye area and that really suits the natural eyebrows that we've gone for today. The final touch is just a little bit of lip balm and I really like these new L'Oreal Sexy Balms. Not a fan of the name, but a big fan of the consistency and how they look on the lips. I did apply some earlier, but it's about time I topped up. And this is the shade 102 Sheer Gossip and I find it really flattering and comfortable for an everyday natural natural makeup look. And we are done. You guys probably recognise this look because this is my everyday natural makeup look. I'd say I wear this most days. I often add to it in the evenings to make it a little bit more dramatic, but the products, they switch around a little bit, but it's mostly the same routine every single day. Next, I'm going to show you how I create a more bold and dramatic brow look. When I wear a slightly more intense eyeshadow look, or perhaps I want to go a little bit more bold with my mascara, that's when I need my eyebrows to match. So it's usually in the evenings, or if I have perhaps a day where I know there's going to be lots of photos taken, I spend a little bit longer on my brows to create a really bold defined brow look. I'm just going to brush through my brows using the spoolie from the eyebrow shaping kit just to remove the excess product from the brow look that I showed you a second ago. Also if you overdo your brows or perhaps you want them to be even more natural looking just combing through is a really nice way of removing excess product. So to create my bold brow look, I'm going to use a few additional products. The first one that I wanted to share with you is the Brows That Brow Kit from Seventeen because this is an incredible, very affordable kit that has everything you need for a really beautiful, bold brow look. So we've got a wax which is used for shaping and setting the brow hair and then a powder to set the wax and also a highlighter to place underneath the brow bone for a really flattering, elevated brow look. You've also got a makeup brush here which you can use to apply the products and a pencil for creating those very fine actual hair like strokes. Another brow favourite of mine which I'm going to use for this look is Cabrow from Benefit. This again is a new launch from the brand and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's really good for very long lasting brows. The packaging is really cute as well. You've got the brush in the top here and then you unscrew to reveal the moussey texture inside. So I'm going to start by using Cabrow because this is a little bit closer to my natural brow shade. I always think if in doubt go a little bit lighter because these are really easily blendable. And I'm going to use the brush that comes with Cabrow, taking a a little bit of the product onto the brush and then warming it on the back of my hand. I find this just helps it glide onto the skin a little bit more smoothly than if you were to apply it straight onto the skin. First I need to define the brow shape so I'm actually going to go along the whole outline underneath the brow just as almost a stencil that I can follow when filling in the brows later on. So I'm using really really light strokes because the colour payoff is pretty good on these products and just following the brows natural shape 
again going back to the back of my hand to pick up more product and then outlining underneath the bottom of the brow. At this stage, if you do notice any brow hairs underneath this line, you can just take your tweezers and pluck them out gently. Next, I'm going to apply a little bit more product onto the back of my hand, and then following the shape I've just created, I'm going to really lightly feather it through the brow hair. I never go for a terribly dark, bold look, but this just helps to really create a more perfected shape while keeping that natural brow shape. So I'm just flicking the brush through my brow hair and you can see that this is really adding a lot more colour and definition to the brows. The product also sets the brow hair a little bit so it helps to keep them in situation all day long. If you make any mistakes it doesn't set straight away so you can just wipe it away with your finger to ensure you always have that beautiful perfect shape. When you finish this part of the brows, make sure you clear the excess product off your little brush because otherwise it stiffens, making it really difficult to use it next time. So I just like to almost scrape it off using my thumbnail onto my fingers and then make sure I wash my hands. Otherwise your brush is going to get really stiff and you're going to have to chuck it out before too long. So always clean it after every single use. Before this sets, which it kind of does set, it does harden after a little while, I'm going to brush through the brows just to make sure the shape is absolutely perfect and there's no product buildup again using my spoolie from the brow kit. Next, to add a little bit more depth to the colour and also to set the brow in place, I'm going to use the brow powder from the 17 kit. So I'm taking the brush from the kit and just making sure that I've got a really nice coverage of the powder on the brush and then I'm just going to lightly feather this all over the brows. Once again, try to follow the natural direction of the brow hair because this will just make sure that your brows are looking still nice and neat and tidy. You can see that as well as almost mattifying the brows, this is adding even more colour, so perfect way of building up your brows for an even more bold look. Try not to go out of the shape though because this will be quite obvious seeing as you've created a really perfect shape with the cabral. So now that I'm really happy with the shape and the colour of my brows, I'm going to set the actual hairs in place using the Nooks Control Freak Brow Gel. What I absolutely love about Boots is that they sell all these amazing brands such as Nooks, and even if there's not a store that stocks them near to you, I actually ordered this one from a smaller store just with one of the in-store staff. They had an iPad and then they got it delivered the very next day to my local store. So a really good way of getting your hands on those more elusive makeup products. So this is a clear brow gel so it's not going to upset any of the colour that I've just spent time perfecting but instead it's just going to make sure that my brow hairs stay in place all day long. So just like a clear mascara I'm brushing it through my brows and making sure that I'm really happy with how the hairs are setting. The last step is to highlight underneath my brow bone. I'm going to use once again the tool from my eyebrow shaping kit just to pick up a little bit of the highlighter from the 17 kit. Unlike the Soap and Glory Arc de Triomphe, which is matte, this one has a little bit of shimmer in it, which is really beautiful for in the evening and catches the light for a really flattering brow look. So using the mirror in the palette, I'm just going to lightly colour this underneath the brows and use the brush to blend it in to my concealer underneath the brow. So thanks to the shimmer particles, you can see that this is actually almost acting like a highlighter and really raising the brow bone for a beautiful, very flattering effect. To finish, I need to balance out my bold brows with a slightly more intense, dramatic eye makeup look. So I'm going back to my Rimmel Magnifies palette, which I just absolutely love. It's so versatile, and I'm going to use a few of the slightly darker shades to create a very light, smoky eye. Firstly, I'm going to use this darker brown in the crease of my eye to add a little bit of contour. This palette also has a mirror in the lid, so really practical for application on the go. And then once I've applied it to the crease, I'm just focusing it on the corners and then I'm just blending this in for a very soft, smoky eye look. Because I don't want to apply actual eyeliner, but I do want a little bit more definition to the lower lash line, I'm taking a much smaller brush, the same colour, and then I'm going to smudge this into the lower lash line and upper lash line in place of liner. 
so you can see that using the smaller brush and a darker shade just pressed into the lash line it gives the effect of eyeliner so really beautiful defined eye look but without the harshness of using an eyeliner and also it means that you can get a lot more uses out of an eyeshadow palette and to finish the look I'm going to make sure that my lashes are just as bold as my brows and I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Volume Million Lashes Fatale. This is a really good one because it's a very deep black, also curls the lashes and adds plenty of volume. Because I've not gone too overboard on the eye makeup, I can apply a really beautiful vivid lip colour and this also will help balance out the bold brows. So I've gone for the Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick from Maybelline New York. I'm really obsessed with this colour at the moment. It's a really nice transitional shade from summer to autumn and it's number 40 Berry Boost. So here we have it, my final brow look. I've gone for a bold eyebrow, bold lips to match, and then a really beautiful soft smoky eye. This is the kind of look that I would create for an evening out, or if I've got a special occasion, perhaps a wedding, I might sometimes go for a bold brow and a soft lip, but it's something that you can really experiment with and see what suits you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, you've seen my brow preparation routine, you've seen my natural everyday brow, and now also a bold brow as well. As I mentioned earlier, this is all to celebrate Brow Week, which is kicking off now in the Boots Emporium. Make sure if you can you go and check out the Boots Emporiums because trust me they really are something incredibly special. Next week's vlog will be kind of like a come shopping with me and you'll be able to see it for yourself but if you can get down to a boot store then definitely check it out. As I mentioned online there's lots of tutorials and tips and tricks so if you learn anything new or if you have your own brow tricks then let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know what your brow routines or brow tips are as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.